Hey folks, small update. I've been away in Colorado for the last month, for the last four weeks. I had to go up there and do some work for my real job. So this got put aside and uh, I'm back home. I'm working on this. And as you see here, the floor pan was much worse on the driver's side than I anticipated. So luckily I had an extra uh, floor pan laying around. Hey folks. I'm going to give you a voiceover for just a few seconds because I don't know what I was thinking, but right there you can see my shadow. I covered the mic. Well, you couldn't hear anything I was saying once I did that. At this point, I thought that it was going to be home free from here. Just a couple of minutes and I would have this patch panel welded in. I was wrong. It took me all day yesterday to get this patch panel put in. It's not beautiful, but it is good enough. I will grind that smooth and um, we will be putting kill mat on top of it. Uh, this panel, this panel came down, fit in here nicely. I had to put a little pie cut because my edge here was not matching up. So I had to put a little pie cut in here and pry this over so this edge would match. I'm gonna grind it all smooth. I replaced, I had to hand bend um, a piece of, piece of metal to fit along this uh, uh, channel here. So it's all done, and then today I'm going to start on the rocker panels. Here is our new rocker panel from LMC. It's a one-piece rocker panel. It goes from the, the front of the truck to the back. I started drilling out the rivets. It's going better than I thought it would. As I pop through it, I can feel the, the, the uh, inside rocker panel move away. And you can see I can, I can move it. You can see a gap in there. So hopefully by the end of the day, I'll have this driver's side done and maybe start on the passenger side also. As always, things escalated and we were forced to take the doors off before we could replace the rocker panels because this new one piece rocker panel is, is really long and we can't slide it in there with the doors on. So we had to take the doors off, but it, it's gonna be better this way. We are going to paint on some rust converter on the inside of this inner rocker panel before we put on the outer rocker panel. That way maybe we can preserve this for 10 more, 10 more, 15 more years, who knows. Okay, the rocker panels are on. This We uh, installed the driver's side door because I hear horror stories of whenever people install rocker panels, they put them on so poorly that the door won't close. So we installed this door just to make sure. So everything's good there. This side was a major pain in the butt. If you look here, there's a crease here. I had to cut cut right down this rocker panel and, and uh, widen it out in order to fit, in order to match up with the factory seal line. The other side, I did not do that way just because of that. On this side, I did not cut into the door seal area up top here. I just cut along this crease. It is gonna be a lot of work to grind in there and get that curve, the factory curve back. But it took me like 10 minutes to put this rocker on. Whereas the other side took me nearly two days to get it lined up and fitted properly. The rain is coming. So we're gonna have to take the truck and push it into my shop. Let's see, you can sh see my shop back there. I opened the door already. So we're almost done with the kill mat on the roof of the truck. And we forgot to do a sound test on there. So now we're gonna do a sound test on the back wall 
uh, after we do this roof. We're going to do this back wall, but we're going to go ahead and do a sound test right now. Here, Nathan. So this is before the keel mat. See what it sounds like whenever the keel mat is installed and you just yeah yeah here we go okay this is about an hour and a half of work we have the roof covered and we have the back wall covered i say we meaning my son he did this i'm putting the engine together right now while he does this so we're going to knock on the back wall and see how much this changes the tone from earlier today I think that's a lot a lot more of a dead sound it doesn't ring like it did previously of course you can hear it it's just more of a dead thud in case you all are wondering how much this took the kits come with 36 square foot of coverage so the roof this back wall and these pieces we laid out here that's one box 36 square foot covered the roof, the back wall, and we have six sheets left there. And here, here's the kill mat that we're using. Kill mat, 80 mil, 36 square foot. Comes with 34 sheets in a box. Sorry to focus on that. It's dark out here, so these cameras don't like the dark. We are finished with the kill mat on the floor, the back wall, and the roof. This was all done with two boxes. We did have to take two sheets out of a third box, but I believe that other people who are a little bit more stingy with it can get this or roughly this done with two boxes. You don't have to be as liberal with it as we are. And the third box, why do we have a third box? Because we want to put it in the doors. Yes, that door is filthy. I'm guessing that the door cord has never been taken off of this truck. This truck is 32 years old. I don't think that that door panel or door card, however you want to call it, I don't think it's ever been removed. It's, it's pretty disgusting underneath there. But we are going to put kill mat in all four doors. That's why I ordered a third box. And this is our plan for the shifter. We're gonna have a friend build a wooden box for us and we're gonna drill holes in the, um, in the tunnel here and just pass the shift cables through the box and the shift cables, cables will go over to the transfer case. These are the uh, really trick, really nice shift cables we got from JB Custom Fabrication. Jeremy Clarkson is known for saying, and on that terrible disappointment, good night. I'm feeling that right now because my disappointment is that I cannot get this engine started. So stay tuned to the next episode and I will get it started. Good night.